meu ganza faz tica tica bum tica Pra eu cantar o tica tica bum tica Com a canção do tica tica bum tica Meu coração faz tica tica bum tica E vem a saudade da fun huh <laughs> oh my gosh so I put the outfit on do you know who she is <laughs> Carmen Miranda Carmen Miranda the tutti fruity lady tutti fruity or the tortita banana lady is she good I can't believe you got into it. So this is how it went. I tried on the outfit and it didn't fit. I called Teresa and I said, you gotta do me a big favor, Teresa. A really big favor. And she said, I said. This is worth a lot, Teresa. Yeah, it's worth a lot. I said, will you wear a costume for me? I didn't really say what it was, you know. And she got, uh. Come, bra, come with a, a strapless bra and heels and red lipstick. She said, oh, I'll just get into it. She did, didn't she? <laughs> Yay! Cool! <laughs> no, she's Carmen Miranda. The, in honor of what is our quilt today, there's a real reason for the... You got it, how could you tell? <laughs> and I just want you to know there are only two for five at Sprouts. <laughs> That's really good. All right, so are you gonna hold your, you gonna stay in your outfit? You should. Oh. She can't, okay. Ah, oh, thank you, Carmen. Oh, it's a good thing it's not me. But now I need to have a helper. Ah, Marie, could you show the quilts, huh? And maybe Dora, since you guys are in the front row, you get to fondle my quilts. Ah, the pineapple. Did you know that's really a historic quilt? It is just so much fun because you think about those sea captains out there, you know? They were out there just sailing across the ocean and they go to Hawaii and they pick some pineapples and they go back to their home in Pennsylvania and just to let everybody in their neighborhood know that they were back in town, the sea captains would take that pineapple and just impale it on their front fence. Ah, a symbol of hospitality. Get it? Symbol of hospitality. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> Very interesting, huh? I know, I think it's really fun. But anyhow, the pineapple um, was made around the 1870s, right after the log cabin. It's kind of similar to a log cabin technique. And I have an antique quilt. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Okay, now Marie and Doris, you guys are so responsive. I love you. Okay, so remember this is old, very old. One, two, three. Oh, how about that? Wow, isn't that something? 
seeing it up, I can see that the, the blocks for the borders seem to have been made after the center. What do you think? Yeah. And maybe it just wasn't big enough, but it's really old. It's got lots of great fabrics in it, but you can see the pattern. There are very little strips, probably one and a half inches wide. Note that there's no border on it, no border. And it's interesting because the quilt maker took two layers, put them together, and she did a blanket stitch around the outside edge. Can you see that? Yes, so you can show that. Whoa, and let's see, ah, oh, move back, step back. Okay, stand on my spot. <laughs> move the iron, look at the camera, smile. <laughs> There's a, it looks easy up here. There's a lot to remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyhow, traditionally, just like the log cabin quilts, they often put a red right in the very center, that's symbolic of the heart. So the heart and hospitality, how good can you get? Yeah. That's really fun. You wanna show the back, it is just tied and you can hardly even see the little ties. Whoa, pretty worn, huh? Well, if you were over 100 years old, you probably wouldn't look so good either. You wouldn't look so good either. I know, I agree. All right, cool. You want to pass it to Teresa and give her, oh, she's back. Could you give her her glasses so she can see? I liked her other outfit better. <laughs> well, we had our um, students and our teachers help us make our quilts. So you can start right in the cover of your pattern. Yes, and you're gonna love it. Ooh, wow, isn't that pretty? Gail did this one. Gail did this one, and you too could have one just like it if you would like. Look at that, ooh. So basically it has a black background. The background is black, and there are really like four different shades in it if you look. And let's just call these the light shades. So, or the medium shades, like the yellow and the green are opposite, and then the pink and the purple are opposite. And see the four patch in the center? The four patch is the secret to our pineapple. <coughs> yeah, that's what makes it really good, really fun. And then Gail uh, put a rainbow border with all of the leftovers around the outside edge. Is it beautiful or what? Yes. She's picking off the, all of the pieces. And Linda and her husband did the um, quilting on it. Okay, what's the name of the group, Teresa? Peach, oh, Peach. 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 Peach Pie Quilting. Peach Pie Quilting, isn't that cute? Yeah. It's a cute name for long arm quilting. Peach yes, and she's got the label. Will you show that again, Doris? Ah, oh, thank you, that's just a leftover. And it's variegated thread and look at the back. Doesn't that say tropical, yeah, that's true. tropical pineapple, it's beautiful. All right, and it's rather planned. Don't you think it's yes. rather planned? And let's keep that handy because we might be showing that again. Mm -hmm. All right, so look on the page two and there is one block of Gail's quilt. I like what we did. We put more color in this pattern. Yes. Okay, the second one Teresa did, she called it mango salsa. And, jelly roll. Yes, and mango <laughs> salsa, and that was actually the name of the jelly roll. Now listen to what she did. She just said, oh, I don't want to look through my scraps and gather up. She took a jelly roll. She took a two and a half inch jelly roll, and she trimmed back all of those two and a half inch strips to one and a half inches. How about that? Or you can get an extra. Oh, it's a strip tease. Okay, well they all, oh, <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> it's because Moda called two and a half inch strips a jelly roll and Island Batiks has called these strip tees. Oh, we like that one, huh? Strip tees. But that's what she did and there's all those colors. And actually, 
She said it wasn't, wasn't hard at all. Notice that it has a light background. You can truly see the pineapple in this one, can't you? The pineapple and what's fun is that all she did was put off of the um, four patch in the center. She just took any of the colors. It was from medium to dark, just a total mix up. So you don't have to keep anything straight. Yay, that is really good, huh? You don't have to keep, keep it straight. And then the border really picks up the same fabrics that are in the blocks. These are 12 blocks, three by four. It's a nice size, huh? Okay, so good. Now turn the page, beep. Okay, this one is mine. You know that I have the log home up in Julian. And I'm always thinking of um, more traditional, more Civil War looking fabrics to hang in my log home. It works. And so this is the one that I did. It's really fun to see how everybody does something different. Ooh. Thank you. You like it? Yes. It's very, very scrappy. Very, very scrappy. Um, so you can see I started out with my four patch in the center with the red and the black. Thank you, Vanna. Red and black. And I did that same four patch. So I used yardage for the four patch over and over. And then I actually did all different lights and all different darks. And it was so much fun to do. I had a great time. So it's just a mishmash and oh my gosh, I'm worrying. Oh my gosh, I'm putting the same fabric in the same block. Forget it. Once your quilt's done, nobody notices that. And then I framed it with a black border and more red. Thank you, thank you. I really like that. Okay, remember that, Civil War too modern and see how different this is and sue was peeking in the door she said she'd come and talk about it oh sue she's not here oh no and here's the modern with the gray background all of the gray background and she's got um 12 blocks as well but it looks smaller in size it doesn't have a border traditionally the traditionally the modern quilts. Isn't that a sentence? <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> Anyhow, the modern quilts are simpler, gray background, not a lot of quilting, usually not a border around the outside edge. And so once again, she did all one background gray and then she made um, the, let me see, the four patch. The four patches are all different. Yeah, she's got a red and everyone. The four patches are all different and uh, the corners are all different. She just um, did whatever she wanted. That's the best thing, huh? Yeah. Do whatever you want. All right, so let's look at the back. Oh, very modern. That, that is really uh, as modern as you get. And that is so Sue with the orange backing. See, the good thing is you can do it how you want it to go in your home, right? Make it look how you want it to look. That's good, all right. Okay, Patty is on the road right now. Hi, Patty, just in case you're out there. Uh, hi, Patty, everybody say hi. Somebody will tell her that we were greeting her and everybody else that's watching too, we welcome you. But Patty took a layer cake. She was really funny. She said, I'm gonna do it out of a layer cake. And I have one back here I'll show you later. The layer cake is called My Little Black Dress. Is that cute? My Little Black Dress. You ready? All right, my little black dress. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. Very fun to use to do it with um, a layer cake. Actually, if you cut up your strips, cut up layer cakes for strips, one and a half inch strips, you do not waste a lot. And you know how you get such variety 
in a layer cake that you don't even have to dig in your scrap bag just to get all that variety. But she did start out with a polka dot and a black for all of her four patches in the center. And she did consistent things. She used uh, cornerstones. You can see a large scale print for two opposite cornerstones and then black for the opposite corners. So it's, it's really a fun, fun, fun quilt. Now around the outside edge, there's a black border that's two and a fourth inches, one and a fourth inch beige, and look at the fussy cut outer border. Is that adorable? Okay, let Patty hear. Ooh, I know. And little black dress is going into its second reprint because it's so popular. It's Little Black Dress 2 that you can get in January. What a long time to wait. <laughs> oh my goodness. But you know how, it's okay if your fabric ages. Don't worry. I, I have a whole house full of aging fabric. <laughs> it's just gonna be much better. And let's see the back on it. Let's see. Very nice. Oh, look, it's like, like bows on the back. Isn't that cute? That is great. You can see the casing on it. Love it. Just beautiful. Um, and there's only one more on the, um, on the floor. Teresa took all of her scraps and her little leftovers. There's always scraps and pieces that you can take and turn into a little table runner. Ah, isn't that perfect? So she rounded the corners. <laughs> We're just picking up all the threads. She rounded the corners just to give it a different look. And that table runner, if you want to remember, is on the back cover. So I think that's a good show, but oh, there's one more. There's one more. Thank you, ladies. So this one Patty also did. I saw you looking at this one up here getting close. Patty did this, oh my gosh, probably in 1987. It was either 87 or 89. And she remembered that we were on a vacation in Stone Harbor, New Jersey. And we do not know why, but Loretta Smith, who wrote the first pineapple book, had just come out here at Quilt in a Day, and she stayed in her bedroom the whole vacation and worked on this quilt. Can you imagine? It was so funny. She said, um, Patty and I were talking about it over in the sewing room. She said, do you remember that quilt I made in New Jersey? She said, I wonder where that quilt is. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. I said, I don't write where it is. <laughs> There's a box in our sewing room that is full of her quilt tops that she was going to get rid of. And Orion could not bear it. He saved all of those quilts. She saved, he saved all of those quilts. They're in a, in a box, not quilted. And each time we get something out and they're still beautiful. Is that gorgeous? Yes. And this, on this one, she really worked. This is the block itself. You can see the block, but it's basically the four patch in the middle. She used the same background throughout. It's just yardage. And then she did medium two mediums opposite each other, exactly the same, but look at her little, she always does those um, little fussy cuts. She always does the prettiest things. And she used those in her corners, and then her dark, she used the same dark on both sides, and then another little fussy cut on the corners. I think she coined the word fussy cut. <laughs> fussy cut. <laughs> And when I have to work with her, she makes me unsew more than I get to sew. <laughs> but the border is a stripe, of course, and it is mitered in the corners, if you can see that, how lovely it is. But I'm so surprised that she didn't keep it. It's so patty, kind of greens and purples. 
She hasn't changed. Oh, I think she is changing now. So honestly, it was just recently quilted. I'm not gonna give it back to her. <laughs> what do you think? No. Huh? I don't think so either. I think I should keep it. That's what she gets for getting rid of it. <laughs> Too much fun. Well, finders keepers, that's right. Well, there are some rulers that we have at Quilt in a Day that you honestly have to have to make this quilt. Um, I've taught in many classes, and honestly, there's a lot of rulers out there I can hardly read. But this one I can read. We have a six inch square up ruler. Let me see how many of you have one. Oh, good. Oh, you guys are good. Okay, and then you need a nine and a half inch. Do you have a nine and a half inch? Yep. Okay, I'm watching. I'm gonna get you, okay. And then the last size is a 12 and a half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy to read. That's good. All right. Okay, you guys, you can stay. <laughs> you're allowed to stay. I'm really happy that you're here. Okay, so I want you to look at the yardage chart. I think that Marilyn opened it and said, oh, wow. But let me tell you. Do you know that we get these calls almost every day that says, oh, I want to make a king size. I want the yardage. And I'm going, who would ever want to make a king size? But there's the yardage. <laughs> Just in case. You might have to get out your, your magnifying glass to read that yardage, but it is in this book. From your table runner to your uh, lap, to a twin, oh my gosh, and there's two size laps. Twin, queen, and king. How about that? Is that good? Excellent, oh cool. So how about, let's just pretend that we're going to make um, Hawaiian. Hawaiian. <laughs> Hawaiian. <laughs> oh, that's not very much yardage, but anyhow, I was thinking that we would look at a 12 block lap robe because Orion, did you know that you can get a 12 block lap robe out of these carefully selected colors <laughs> and carefully cut into one and a half inch strips? Oh, where can you get it? I know where. This really cool quilt shop. Doesn't that look cool? There's two little ones. There's your one and a half your little um, little four patch in the center is two and a half inch strips. Your corners are four inch strips cut into four inch squares. Wow. Is that cool? cool. That's very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Do you very know cool. Item that is? Is, there an item <laughs> is there an item number? There's a price on it. It's thirty five dollars. Uh, for $35, I would pay anybody to cut my one and a half inch strips. Yeah. <laughs> it is item number 7005. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. So, but the background is not included. So you can go, you can go either, um, you can go white, like what Teresa did, if you like the white better, or you can go black, like Gail did. Ah, so you got your choice. Is that good? But we did, um, we did, I cut, oh, what's this eye? Yeah. Teresa cut me. <laughs> I always feel like a nurse up here saying, we did this, we did this. But anyhow, Teresa cut me um, some background one and a half inch strips and she cut it in that hat. Are you impressed? That hat that she had on is really hard to keep. But I said, oh my gosh, the one thing that I didn't really like is cutting my strips. I'll show you an AccuQuilt method in just a minute. But anyhow, since Teresa cut them, okay, so then you can layer cut these, right? These are all one and a half inch strips and that is what size the strips for the pineapple are. So. I'm going, okay, I'm just gonna do it this way, all right? They're all lined up. And actually, if you can cut four layers at one time, um, four layers is enough 
for each round in the block. Oh, wait, she took away some stuff. Don't take it all away. Oh, okay, okay, will you put it up there? Yes. Okay, give me this. Okay. Okay. That's okay, I'm so sorry here, Teresa. I know you got the sign, clean up Al's messy table. <laughs> or Al should throw it over her shoulder, huh? Okay, so this, so this is what it is. So it starts with the four patch right in the center, which I'll show you, and then the round one is the background. And then round two is the print. Then it goes round three, background, round four, print. Okay, you with me? Five, six, seven, eight. So why not, if you have to have this on four sides of the four patch, why not cut four strips at one time and that's enough for one block. Got it? Yes. Got it, okay. So look what you can do. The first background that you need, and let me look at my book, let me look into my book and make sure it says that. Okay, one and a half inch, oh gosh. Can you get it for me? I'm still gimpy, I'm sorry. Okay, so one and a half, I got one and a half inch strips, right? Just ask Teresa, Teresa will cut all of your one and a half inch strips. <laughs> And so will Martha. So I'm just going to square off, square off the end, right? Get rid of that. Okay, so now first we need four inch, okay? Four inch. And then I'm going to stack that all up. And then we need to have six inch, right? Six. It says six. It says six. This is, this is for the center, right? Four inch, six inch. And then the next size I need is four and a half. Al, you forgot to tell them they need less than four and six because they use it twice. All right, they only knew. You know what? You should follow the numbers in your pattern. <laughs> Four and a half, and then you need five and a half, five and a half, five and a half, and I should have brought more strips, but I was going to cut them for you. Five and a half. Yes. So if you just can stack them up, see how many strips you need, how many pieces you need, and just do it by layering and cutting. Won't that go easier for you? Yeah. So you don't have to struggle so much. Five and a half and the last one was for six and a half. Okay, well I don't have enough for six, but I'm gonna cut later, okay? Six and a half. I thought I did good, okay? So I'm just gonna set this here like this so that I have all my pieces in order. Okay, that was background, that was this was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, we need the fifth one out there. Okay, so now we're gonna look at our prints. You wanna see our prints? Ooh. So Martha and Teresa actually did a gradation of your fabrics. Isn't that beautiful? And Teresa sorted these for me. We have four colors in our four patch, okay? We have four colors. Remember I said we had the yellow and the green were the medium, and the pink and the purple were like our dark. So Teresa stacked one of each right in here. See? Oh yeah? Does that work? Yeah, yeah I think so too. I think so too. That makes it really good. So the very first round, this is what you need. This is what you need. And um, you need to have right here, I'm looking, right here at four, five, six, and seven. It just keeps on going bigger and bigger and bigger, right? 
So you can just go ahead, say we were gonna make uh, 12 blocks. So that's for one block at four. Oops. And then this is for the second block at four. Four inches? Yeah? So you can just keep on going? Well, this is the first round. And then the second round is five. The second round is five, right? Five. The next round is six. Oh, I'm. Uh, this is where I am. Page seven. I'm making a round. And it goes four, five, six, and the last one is seven. So see if you just go ahead and layer cut, it won't be so painful for you. Oh, I think I have enough to do. At least one block here, huh? See how I can do it. Okay, so now I did it so, I, I'm keeping it neat, Teresa. And then there's even more. If you wanna make it all scrappy, you can do 16 blocks with all scrappy. If you just, you know, just sew it, just do it, just go for it. And there's actually enough if you do just 12. Remember how Gail had that cool rainbow border around the outside edge, the little rainbow border around the outside edge. So lots of fun. Wanna sew? I wanna sew. I wanna sew. I wanna make my four patch. But you guys already know how to make a four patch, right? How are you doing, Orion? You're good. Look at this. Is this cool? <laughs> I look like a weapon, huh? Yeah, this is a little pin cushion. This is the copy of the pin cushions from the 1800s. Um, beware, there are imitations out there. These are not originals. <laughs> but anyhow, it has a little clamp on it. And you can just, and so it was just really, all it was, it's just you put it right on the edge of your table and you clamp it right beside your treadle, right? Put it beside your treadle, stick all of your pins in there, and it's ready. You know people are gonna want that. Oh, they can, do you know how they can get it? Look on the internet. I found it. I, I, I bought this some time ago. Mine is nearly ancient, but anyhow, um, you can just look on the internet and purchase it. <laughs> but it's not old. Okay, so we're going to start and make our four patch centers, all right? We need two and a half inch strips. If you're going to do um, four colors, like our black background, you can have the four different colors for your four patch. When I made mine and it was just all scrappy, I used yardage only. I used two strips of red and two strips of black. And so you can see each one, whatever you wanna start with in the center, you can make it different. So I need to put them out two and a half inches. Let me tell you, the measurement on this is very important. And so I think if I were you, I would use a scant quarter. Okay, when I sew, I sew with 3.5 and my quarter inch foot. When I put my needle down and I sew at 3.5, it is a perfect quarter of an inch. Well, because you lose a lot on your fold, can you imagine on these blocks how much you lose? how much you lose on your fold. So let me, <laughs> let me move that over. So I would recommend that you move your needle slightly to the right, like a 4.0. And you really need to measure it first. And I'm just gonna do part way down one. Okay, Teresa, I'm gonna have you set the seam and open it. Oh, wow, that's really skinny. Ooh, don't look at that, O'Brien. Whoa! That was really bad. Do you want to see it? You guys, you have to see this because it'll make you feel so good. You ready? Are you on it? That 
is bad. That is really bad. That's okay, fine. We'll square it up in a minute. <laughs> okay, we'll just square it. Huh? You're not going to actually redo that. Like, you'll throw it in your quilt. You oh, Ryan, that'll be very valuable someday. <laughs> People will look on the internet. Do you know that Sue has a whole collection of my mistakes? Think how cool that is. We should sew that on the back of the quilt. People would pay for that. <laughs> Don't you think? Absolutely, it's like a blooper, that people would say. Oh my gosh, I must have been drinking before I came. That's all I can say. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so anyhow. If you can sew two and a half inch strips, sew them straight with a 4.0 stitch width. <laughs> if you can do that. All right. And so this is very simple, actually. Um, okay, so now, now when it's pressed, you can't even see it, can you? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put the seam on this one down. And this one, I'm going to put it right sides together with the seam going up because we're going to do that magical swirling trick. Okay, this is why I did it. Because you have to be consistent. Whoa, look at that. That is really good. See? I want it at four and a half inches, and I got it at four and a half inches. <laughs> okay, do you see where it says measure? Your width should be four and a half inches. Circle that, okay? You got to find your seam allowance. You got to get that good. Okay, that is very funny, but anyhow. <laughs> okay, so now all I'm going to do is just cut these into two and a half inch sections. So how many for a lap? How many? Okay, how many for a twin? 24, lots of them, huh, 24. And king size, 49. Too many. Too many. Man, you're not kidding, too many. That's why I said, it's a really nice quilt. It's beautiful, but it is time consuming, okay? So if you wanna spend the rest of your life making a king size pineapple quilt, that's okay by me. You'll have a good time. Just think of the scraps you could use up. Okay, so you're making four patch. And my machine just does not sound good at all. Not only isn't my stitch width good, width good, but probably, oh, sewing good. Okay, I know it's the batik. It's the batik, it's the hand eye kind of plunking. I thought my needle was dull, but it's not. Who did it? Okay. Rainbow did it, but it's beautiful. Okay, so watch. See, I've laid it wrong side up, the swirling, to the right, down to the left, up, open the center, mush it good! Mush it good! Okay, and now, Press it, Teresa, and show it from the right side. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. See, look at the right side. Nobody will ever know. It's beautiful. It's it is beautiful. The best part of it. Huh? <laughs> this is the best part of the strip. Do not tell my secrets, O'Ryan. You, you will have time enough when you write my memoirs. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. Tell everybody about me. I want, I want to know if I'm going to get a good review. All right. Now, this is how we make them all exactly the same to start with. Okay, turn the page. We're on page 10. And it says trimming four patch to four inches square. Okay, this is the key to the whole block four inches square. So I'm using my six by six. You put two inches. You frame your block at two inches. Okay? See two inches right here? 
you, they are made oversized and now you trim them up so see if you screw up it doesn't matter until now <laughs> okay so just cut one side oh I don't have any Invisigrip on it it's so hard see this is my secret Orion doesn't allow me to have Invisigrip <laughs> on my ruler because it's it um, glares on the TV okay did you see that I'm going to turn it around and now once again I'm going to put two inches I'm framing two inches and it's four inches here that's what's important so now your little block is four inches okay Ta -da! and take this and get rid of it and it's perfect <laughs> and nobody will ever know but I always do laugh if if later years people try to tell you that the quilt was made by Eleanor Burns I do want you to check the color of thread used. <laughs> if it's red thread, it will be very valuable. <laughs> okay, so now we're going on, okay? We've got this little, um, we've got our little four patch, and what size is it? Four inches. Okay, so we're just gonna take our background, which was the first pieces that we cut. They were four inches, yes? yes. Right? Okay, now I, I like to sew with my block wrong side up and my strips right side up. And um, I was watching Teresa, she actually did it the opposite way. So I'm just gonna make one block so you can do it how you want. But anyhow, those little four inch pieces go on either side, use your stiletto, try to sew straight, yes! Oh. That's part of this game, you know? Okay, I am putting a four inch background on both sides of my perfect four patch. Yay, perfect! Are you still using the scan? I am. <laughs> Be careful! Okay, so now let's look on the other side. All right, there's background on both sides. Turn it like this, set the seam, and press toward the background. That's what you see on 11? Perfect. Okay, so I'm actually done with this now, the four inch, and now I need to have my six inch. And this is gonna tell you right there. Okay, turn the page, beep, beep. You know what's kind of cool? You can't see the right or the wrong side, so who knows? <laughs> okay, turn the page, and now it says we're adding the third background to the four patch. I like mine wrong side up, and that's what it shows. This is right side up, so you just slide it over. See those little arrows? Poor Merritt has to make all those little arrows perfect just for you guys. I forgot to tell you Merritt's sick. Oh, I thought so, he didn't come in. <laughs> He's sick of making little arrows. <laughs> Just for you guys. <laughs> no. Is Merritt watching us? I don't think so. Merritt, if you're watching, don't listen to us. We're just silly ladies. <laughs> We're having fun. Um, this would be the opportunity. Don't you think Merritt does a beautiful job on our artwork? And he works really hard to get all those pictures perfect for you. I think that's very, very special. But um, I have to tell you, you all maybe know Merritt, but when he came to work at Quilt in a Day, he had hair and he, <laughs> and he wore a suit. <laughs> Is that funny, Maggie? And now, He's weathered, he has a wife, three children, no hair, and wears jeans. <laughs> that's, our, that's our good, that's our artist, exactly what he should be. All right, so this is the very center. Look, I framed it with the background. Do you see that on the bottom of page 12? You're going to do that with all of your center squares. Okay, you do that with all of your center squares. Just take it and press it over. And 
There. Oh, did you say this is the scary part, Barbara? Oh, scary. Oh, no. There's a ruler there. Oh, there's a ruler there. Okay, so I want you to notice that you put your block square. Okay, and I did put it on my little turnable. You could use your bigger one. And I'm going to still continue to use my six by six. And there are two and a half inch measurements. See where it goes two and then two and a half. Can you see that, Orion? Two and a half? Two and a half? Okay, so this is what the tricky part is. You line up, first of all, the diagonal line down through the center, and then you find two and a half, and you put two and a half right on the tips, no quarter inch, okay, I didn't say a quarter inch away. See, I put it right there on the tips, okay, there and there. This is two and a half, two and a half straight line. All right? That's not scary, Barbara. Yes, it is. Don't worry, Common and Teresa will help you. <laughs> Actually, Carmen will. Did you know, okay, so look, I cut these off. See, I cut those off. Do you want to see it without the ruler? Oh, look. See, right out there. Nothing there, no seam allowance. I'm just going to flip it around. Okay, take my six by six again put my diagonal line down through the middle and put my, my tips right there. Good? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut again. And what, did you know that in 1945, that was the year that I was born, Carmen Miranda was the highest paid woman in the United States for her dancing? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Don't tell her, Teresa. You know how much she made a week? She made five thousand dollars a week in 1945. Is that good? She was called the Brazilian bombshell. Okay, I'm going to take that and get rid of it. Okay, and now look at that. Is that cute? Doesn't that look like a pineapple already? No. No? no? <laughs> you don't think? Okay. So now we're going to go to round, that was round one, right? Background. And now we turn the page and you just take it slow. We're going to add two medium to round two. Hey, Diane, I do know how to do this, but I don't want to do it too fast for you. Okay. This is what I like to do. I like to put... Um, Turn this wrong side up. I'll put it just kind of like the book. Okay, and so now we see. This piece is for the first print. Do you remember what size it was? One and a half by four. Yeah, who said that? Mara, you're good. Mara, okay, so look. This is purple. That's purple, right? Mm -hmm. This is yellow. That's yellow. Green. That's kind of green. It's kind of green. It's green. And then we need to have pink. Ah. Okay. Okay, that's easy, huh? Okay. So I, the reason that I like to turn my block wrong side up is because I want to center this on this piece of fabric. You just pick it up and slide it over, and you will see that you have little tips hanging out, okay? Just they're really little, okay? So I'm gonna just slide that over, and you see how Mara drew that nice little tip? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, did you actually have to use um, a longer black strip? Couldn't you have just used the same four inch strips? No, no. Um, not that first round, only. Yeah? I'm a little shy. <laughs> Somebody must have been goofing around Whoops. whenever I did that. Anyhow, you've got that right on there. And 
I lined up the green, I have it underneath, I still have my scant quarter of an inch, and I also can see so that I don't flip out on my seams. There's nothing worse than flipping out, okay? That is one side, if you were assembly line, you would keep on sewing, right? right. Assembly, assembly, assembly. But I'm not assembly, so now I'm gonna turn it here. Go back to here, I have my yellow on the opposite side. Okay, slip it under there, line it up, center it, let little tips hang out, yeah. Okay, little tips. All right. Yep, I sewed, I chopped off my tip. I tried to do it. Okay, I'm just chopping right off my tip and I'll show you as soon as we're done, okay? Okay. Okay, and let us look at the picture. Okay, see? See, go go show them my tips, Orion. Chopped. <laughs> chopped. You see? They're chopped off. No. No, there's some good things about this. Okay, so now I have purple, 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 and I have pink, pink, right? Pink, pink. This is easy, right? I'm chopping off my tips again. Jeez, you never know what I'm gonna do here. Chop them off. Huh? We're doing good, are we doing good? You know what, um, once you get into this, it's getting the center right, and then you can just go with it. You get, it's, it's just very repetitive, and you can do it. Okay, let your tips hang out. Okay, centered on there. Teresa, are you ready? I hope your daughter see you dressed as Carmen Miranda, Teresa. Huh? Giving $5,000 this week? Yeah, of course. And do you know that whenever Carmen passed, she did, they did bury her back in Brazil, that one half million people followed her to her grave. Is that amazing? They just loved her. So that's cool, huh? All right, so that's what it looks like. Oh, look, look close. We cut off the tips. Yeah? Yep, we cut off the tips. Okay, so now we are going to trim. I can still use my um, six inch ruler. I'm going to put my ruler. Okay, now you're going, oh, okay. What are we trimming it to? I'm gonna keep on sliding it up. Yep. And you're going to see how the three inch line lines up. Can you see the three inch line? See how the, why the four patch is important? And do you see how it comes right here to the edge here? Right here to the edge here. Okay, so that's your, that hold it down. Trim up. Woo, I need my turnable, but I did it. So the best one for the turnable. Huh? That would have been, would have been good for the turnable. <laughs> okay, so I did one side. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, you, you know how hard it is to work with family members? <laughs> Yes, you think I look perfectly calm and relaxed up here. No, I am fine, I'm having fun. Okay, see, three inches, you see that? Yeah. Three inches, so, pardon me? You should spin it around, because it's the same on both sides. It's the same on both sides. One, two, and show the other side. You see how it's just lining up here? 
It's just lining up. Okay, Barbara, are you still sweating? No. Okay, so this was round one. This is round two. Now what do you think? What are we going to add now? Background. Background and background. Let's look at the book. See if it tells us. Background, round three. What size are the strips? Four and a half inches. That's a good pattern you have there. Four and a half inches. Okay, look. One, two, three, and four. All right? One, two, three, and four. Put it back. Put it wrong side up if you would like. Then just that arrow. There's that little flippy arrow. Oh, no. Merritt forgot. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have to write, rewrite the book. <laughs> Slide it on. Little tips hanging out. Cutting off. There are no tips. No tips. That's good, huh? All right. How are we doing? I'm af I, I want to look at my watch, but I'm afraid to. So then you just keep on going. 10.56? Okay, we don't want to miss our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, honestly, and so this one, you know, and you can go right around in a circle if you want, right? You're going to add four blocks to the sides, right? So if you're only going to make one block, you can just keep on going right around in the circle. I might as well. The pineapple is not quite ripe yet, however, <laughs> that would be really good. You guys are all going to have your mouth watering. I'll think about pineapple. All right, so I'm putting, what round is this? Three. three. Three, round three. And I'm just adding this black to all sides. Your illustrations are done uh, with white, but it's exactly the same. Okay, Teresa, get ready. What's Teresa gonna do? Um, you know, pressed to the dark side. You know what was really fun about um, Carmen? She met President Roosevelt. This was the 30s and the 40s. She met President Roosevelt and he felt that she was really valuable to the United States because she was from Brazil. He encouraged her because it was like the good neighbor policy. You know, we had somebody from a different country and you could just really show. Okay, now there is, it's just really slight in this scene, but don't worry, that's okay. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. Because I think this, this happens to you. And it's really gonna be hard to tell, but Ryan, you can go really close there. Can you see how there's about 1 16th of an inch? Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, now, Teresa's gonna set the seam. Open, press, and that was round four, so what are we gonna square it to? That was round three. Okay, we're on round four. We're on round four. Let me see if I can still fit this on here. <gasps> Barely. Barely, and there's a new ruler that you have to switch to. Yeah, we could. You could bring me the larger one. Look at the picture. No, it's still the six inch. You can still do it. Look. Okay. Nine and a half. Oh, it says to use the nine and a half. Okay. Yes, it would be really tight. The book is right. Use the nine and a half. Nine and a half. Okay, so what are we, what are we uh, lining up this time? Three and a half. Three and a half. Do you notice how it's going up a half inch each time? Three and a half inch, and what is it supposed to be on the outside? Three and a half there. Ooh. And you swing your turnable around there. And you turn this, and now you put on the right, on the outside edge, 
seven, okay. Here is seven, seven, three and a half is right, three and a half here, going down along there, seven is here, and trim. It's so cute. It's like a little pineapple. Is that very cute? Yeah. So you get the idea? You get the idea. Okay, you just keep on going. Make sure you're on the right page. You just keep on going. Huh? All the pieces are right until you get to, okay, round eight. And Teresa took my block away. Oh, round eight. Oh, she didn't take it. I have it. Okay. No, I wanted a finished one. Darn. I just spilled all my pieces. Okay, so magic. Look at that. <coughs> Round eight. Wow. Whoa. That's good. That's fast. Is that fast? Yeah. I'm good. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Carmen Moran, eat your heart out, huh? Okay. So these are four inch squares cut in half on one diagonal. Isn't this interesting? Look at this, same colors. Let your tips hang out on the outside edges. Do you see? It's exactly the same. Four inches square cut on one diagonal. And that's the page adding the corners. Yeah, we're good. And so you know you can just sew, you can sew that around, sew them on there because I think I have one that's all oh, <laughs> even faster. Ta da! <laughs> wow! I did good. I did good. S yep. So there it's on there. And now you would think that we're gonna square this block to 12 and a half, but it's really only 12, okay? Will you make note of that? It's really only 12. And so if we take, what would be half of 12? Six. 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 Now we have to go to the big ruler. Okay, do you see six? Six. You can't go wrong. Put it on a big turnable, trim, two sides, swing it around. And now you actually have to turn the ruler, turn the ruler so that we can put six again. Last two sides, six, 12, six, 12, one, two. Very pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. It's very beautiful. And actually, when Gail laid hers out, do you want to just show on the wall? There, the one thing, there are not a lot of different ways that you can turn these blocks. They are not like the log cabin, where you can just keep on turning them and having a lot of fun with it. But if you look at that, okay, so basically, Gail kept the same color in the top right. Yes, yeah, she took the same color in the top right. Go back and look on page um, two. She kept like purple in the top right corner over and over again, okay? She did purple over and over again. And I want to show you how you Press the seams so you can lock them together. You want to lock them? Okay, so from the wrong side. Yeah, if you would pick all of that up for me, Teresa, that would be perfect. Okay, from the wrong side, you press your seams away from the dark, away from the dark, but on the medium, so they lock, you take and you press the two outside seams in, okay? 
I press the two outside seams. One, two. Okay? On the medium, I press the two outside seams in. That works. Okay, now, so whenever you put them, when you lay them like this, and you put your purple here, the purple is on the right corner, and when you flip these right sides together, then you see this was the medium. This seam is going down. This is the dark. This seam is going up. And so they lock together. Oh! Very nice. Very nice. Isn't that very nice? And that is. It's just going to um, happen on the same corners, too. Okay. So, very nice. It works good. So, um, Patty's actually is set a little bit different. Um, and turn to Patty's, the, um, my um, little black dress. Look at Patty's. And that, she turned her blocks. And you can see that she turned her, yeah, she turned her blocks back and forth. We're doing good, okay, now. Oh, you're doing good. So now, okay, I'm gonna just start with this one. I'm just gonna start with my black. Oh. So. I gotta get these one and a half inch strips cut really fast, huh? Martha and Teresa won't go home with me. Darn it. So I just want to, this is the first time that I did this, and I got so excited. AccuQuilt has a one and a half inch strip cutter. Did you know that? Yeah, you knew that? Okay, so with this gimpy arm, look at this. This is one and a half inches, one and a half inches, and what I did, was cut a black, and I could have put like six layers on here. This is, I cut it seven and a half inches wide, and there is the fold, okay? There is the fold along there, and I'm just gonna line up one edge. We're just gonna trim a little bit off. Okay, so you could have three of these on top of each other, and that would be really cool. Six layers. You need your mat, yeah? Okay, I want to see. Where's my AccuQuilt girl? Are you getting excited back there? <laughs> Hello, yeah. are you getting excited? I have that strip. Huh? I have that die. You have that die? Yes, All right, so just start cutting. Woo! It's a long die. I always thought that, oh, I didn't need to have this for strips. But look what happens when you put it on the fold. Okay, slide it off. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Woohoo! Is that good? Isn't that amazing? You cut a, you cut a, could have cut one, two, three, five. You could have cut, um, Five times three, you could have done. Fifteen strips all at once. That was pretty good. Oh! Oh my goodness! But you know what else? Look at this. You see? Straight. Straight. There's no dog leg like that. You know how that goes? That, uh, that's really fun. Okay, so that's fun with the strips, and that's extra. And you can just, you know, okay, take the black strip so you know how to cut that. And now comes the little black dress. Oh, it's so cute. You have to wait till January. But look at this. This is what my sister Patty, and now's the time to get Patty's quilt out. You want to get Patty's quilt? Okay, so we've got values of light. We've got light here. We've got a medium here. Medium. And we've got dark. Clear down below. And every, every one of your um, 
layer cakes also has that and see this is what this is what she did she took her lights cool okay so I'm gonna use since this is so big I'm gonna take a couple lights you can go up to six layers but I have an evening class so I can't cut it all right now right so I'm just going to put some lights on one half, lights on one half, and put some mediums on the other half. You know what, Patty almost did not finish this quilt. She just said she didn't like it. And I said, bring it in here, we'll finish it, we'll finish it. Okay, so now you can do some mediums on the other end. Put them in there. All right, is this cool? Very cool, very cool. I was doing this and I said, oh my gosh, this is just so much fun. <laughs> it is. They're really good to me at AccuQuilt. <laughs> Wonder why. Wonder why, okay, so let's just slide it off. So anyhow, oh, I didn't slide off so good, but look at all the one and a half inch strips you got. Yeah, great. Yes, and so now what I think, we need to take the, oh yes, you cut it. Look how nice I cut it earlier. Okay, so Teresa, will you take the machine and put it down for me? Okay, I'm nearly done, Orion. Are you with me? Were you amazed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, I just want to show you how fun it is to cut. So I was going, oh my gosh, there's going to be so much waste here. But you know what? So go back to page seven. Go back to page seven. Seven, seven, seven. Okay, the first, and I'm, I'm cutting my medium, right? This is my medium. And so the first number was what number in that little chart? Four. Okay, how big are, how big are layer uh, cakes? Ten. Ten. Four. And what's this now? Six. six. Do we need a six? Yeah. We're not wasting a thing. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited. Okay, what else do we need? Okay, well, I've got five. And what's the other piece? Five. Did you waste anything? No. no. <laughs> yeah. That was going really good, wasn't it? It was going. Yes, 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 yes. But it's going to be a really little piece. Okay, so the last one is only seven and a half. Oh, no. Oh, only seven. Oh my gosh, now I wasted a whole half inch. Darn it. Ah! Yeah, but that's the waste. No, no, you can, you can do a border. Oh, the border! <laughs> actually, actually, there, there is a, um, a chunk that you can uh, use for your border too. Whenever you cut, you know, when you cut a 10 inch, you have a little piece sitting at the side. This one, this is what I was getting pieces like this, which you can piece together for your border. But anyhow, isn't that fun? fun? I know, I think it's really fun. Actually, that's the wrong piece I cut. I got so excited, that's the one I cut up. <laughs> this is the one. That's the six inch. How big was the piece on the side? Is that two inches? It's bigger than two inches. Oh! Oh, I did cut this at four, two and a half. I did cut it at two and a half. Yeah, you can take your, you can take and cut your um, two and a half inch centers. You can get your four inch corners out of your layer cake. Oh my goodness. It was just too much fun. <laughs> I had a great time doing my pineapple. I hope you do too. Thank you. Was that great? Thank you. Cool. Okay, so we have our 
um, double nine patch. And this is Icos. What do you think? Is that cute? I think it's really cute. She told me yesterday that she really loved it. She was going to use it often. It's mine. It's really cute. And she wants you to notice, I think the corners on her quilt are adorable. So she just carried out that theme and, and made it. It kind of looks, looks like a piece of bamboo right there, huh? Uh, that's really, really fun. It's very nice. I, I like it too. Very old fashioned looking. Oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Did I say the pattern wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. Double four patch. This was last month's block if you weren't here. Double four four patch okay and i'm not sure which one okay this is linda's here with the it's really pretty with the uh, the green the lime green going through there and it looks like you made every single patch the same huh that makes it easy that makes it really easy and it's interesting that she used the um dark pink as her background that's really fun and your borders are beautiful too did you do the quilting linda Oh, <gasps> Linda did the quilting! <laughs> Woo! That's really adorable. Mm -hmm. Little flowers, it's really cute, and then it's like um, tsh, 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 on the outside border. Tsh, 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 tsh. Very cute, very cute, very cute. And this one is Marilyn's? Okay, and the one beside it, this is bright. It'll shake up your mouth, huh? Mm -hmm. That is really fun. I like your different colors of side triangles around there. And you, you didn't put it across the top, so it really looks like continues those rows of your four patch. Very, very nice. Yeah, let's see. Doesn't it look fun when you look at it in the mirror? In the mirror, in the TV. <laughs> I'm getting tired. It's nearly lunchtime. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Okay, are there quilts in the audience? Yes. Okay, you want to go around and line up here. That's good. Can we take a shortcut? Yes, you can take a shortcut. Okay, Rainy. But there's some others. Sandy's got one. Good. All right. Uh, Pat has one. All right. Linda has one. Cool. Oh, her Christmas. It's her Christmas tree. Oh, cool. All right. That is very nice. Very, very nice. A wedding. This is a wedding gift from Rainy. Very, very nice. That black is really sharp, isn't it? Yeah, different kinds of black. Different kinds of black. Very, very nice. Good job. Well, anybody getting married? Rainy gives wedding, gives quilts for wedding gifts. Oh, and this is. Oh my gosh, dormancy. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Higher. Here, let me see if I can hold up one. That's very nice. It's all very nice. And look at the, okay, if you hold the top straight across, one, two, three. That's very nice. Good job. Beautiful. You've been stitching a storm. How fun. So I should have brought my storm at sea over from our Alaskan cruise. Yeah, okay. Teresa's going to bring. Okay, Sandy. And Marie, are you holding one? Oh, she, is she waiting for last? No. Look how cute snowman. Oh, my gosh. This is I so. This on you in the back room. Oh, these are little snowmen. Aren't they adorable? That is very, very cute. So I have a stack of browns and tans, and that's what I was going to do. Uh huh. I'm making Christmas quilts for my kids. Oh. So I thought it was really cute. I thought it turned out. Nice. It really. It looks icy, and doesn't it? And it's snowmen on the back too. And it's snowmen on the back. And guess where she got the fabric? I saw that going through. I was thinking that was yeah. really cute. I have a little piece. Of I can't. I can't have it all. I, I share a little bit with you. Tans, but the red kept jumping in. So. Oh, look. Yeah. Very, very nice. Is this 
I like your little folded, is it a folded board, a little it's narrow a board? Yeah, it's a full team. Uh huh. You can really see the zigzag in this one, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't even know where it came from. It was on my shelf. <laughs> <laughs> it was aging. <laughs> you have to age, let your fabric age. Whoops, I'm sorry. Okay, Linda. I just know you had that Christmas. Oh, look. No, I had a new dress because I wasn't here that time. Oh, look how pretty. Oh. And she's got little beads sewn. That, that really adds a lot to it. And your quilting's really nice. I actually did it myself. She did it herself. <laughs> um, we don't have Brenda here, but she's teaching a class yes. on quilting. And I, I teach a class. And that's very nice. She put her little um, ties out here, and it's finished with a blanket stitch and gold thread. Very nice. Very, very nice. Little um, stripe. And this is a s really darling binding. Very, very cute. Okay, the wreath and the tree. Are you excited you're getting ready for Christmas? Yes. And um, Brenda let me use her acne her, her, hair, so I'll yeah. let you cut with that. Yeah, too. yeah, it's Brenda shared. Easy. Very nice, very nice. Thank you. All right, Pat. Thank you. Pretty blue. Make mine smaller. Okay, here I'm gonna let you. She's kind of talking here. <laughs> she um, tried to make her smaller. Well, this is. What, how it turned out. Oh, look. Very old fashioned looking. Very old fashioned. I like, and your blue almost looks Christmassy too. It was in my stash and I had it for years and loved it and didn't want to cut into it. <laughs> she had it in her stash for years and couldn't cut into it, but then she decided it was time. Oh, it was ripe enough, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Good. I like your little touch of yellow around the outside, too. See some of those fabrics that you just love forever and you can't. Okay, Nancy, look at the back. This is that is great. Oh, Halloween. Oh, there's little pumpkins. This is very cute. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. That is just perfect. Look how cute. That is very nice. Yay, Nancy. Good job. And Kathleen, look at your back. Oh, so everybody's doing Halloween. I'm a friend of Nancy's, so I took her idea. Oh, if you two live close to each other. Yes. This is very cute. We've had so many cute Halloween. She has um, bats flying on the yellow, and these bats are really, they're like vampire bats with big teeth hanging out. It's really I cute. I bought one of these, this here. Oh. Uh, I know I bought some of it here, but I know this cute bat. I almost bought it. <laughs> And candy corn here, this is so fun. These are like um, little bad eyes. And the writing says, happy something, probably. Halloween. Happy Halloween, something I like that. I only have two inch strips of this left. But it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. And your binding is really beautiful. Yeah. I love the binding when you cut it on the oh. bias. It says, eek, fun, boo. My husband said it was made for a really skinny person. <laughs> <laughs> it's for a wall, I think. I have all these perfect walls just this size. You know, um, we're like buying this bat fabric and really enjoying the bat fabric. But when a group of women are in a room and a bat comes in, oh my gosh, Andy sleeps with me. And she sleeps in my log house. <laughs> And during, during Camp Cedar Glen, oh my gosh, she saw a bat one night. She couldn't even sleep for two nights. She's like, she put the covers over and 
with Teresa's daughters, we had bats come in the, a bat come in the house and they were screaming and carrying on, just these little things. Oh, look how cute. Sharon, that is adorable. That is so cute. I love this fabric. That is really nice. And let me see. Okay, show oh, the best. Use, all this stuff. use it up. Wear it out. Make it do. Do without. Very nice. Very, very pretty. Good job. No, I have two Christmas presents ready. Yay! Two Christmas presents. Good job. And this is um, the storm at sea that we worked um, on in the cruise on the Inland Passage. It was really fun because after we got going on the blocks, every port we stopped at had at least one quilt shop. And in Alaska, they specialize in, you know, critters from the sea. And so this was the one that I found that I really liked and added to it. But now there's about 34 others just like this one out there. <laughs> but it's okay. I like it. Like it. Look at the backing. Pretty. Isn't that fun? Good. Good. All right. Marie, you waited till the end. I didn't jump up. This one, do you remember? Swirling star. Wow, look how pretty that is. That is beautiful. Look how fun. That is gorgeous. Higher. She didn't get to see it in the back. Swirling star. Did we do this this year or last year? I'm so confused. First one. Second one. Third one. This year. This year. We did April. I think so. Better late than never. Yay, Marie. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. Do you want a prize? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. It was just so much fun. So be nice to each other. Keep safe. And see you the next time. Yay. Yay. We're done.